This is bullshit. What's up guys, Sal here. So a couple of days ago, DisplayMate announced that the iPhone XS Max snatched the title of the world's best display from the Galaxy Note 9, which was shocking to a lot of people, including me. There were headlines all over the internet that the XS Max defeated the Note 9. Even I made a video on this. I really apologize that I didn't do a proper research. I didn't sleep for 36 hours straight and I was on medication when I made that video. So I didn't have the time to do a full research and I apologize for that. Add to that the DisplayMate's website is one of the most unorganized websites in the world. So yeah, you guys showed me a lot of love for that video. And a lot of you even called me an eye sheep, which was quite funny. Anyway, some of you even approached me on Twitter and here on YouTube explaining why the DisplayMate's report is wrong and why it could be paid by Apple to make the new iPhones look better. So I decided to take a look back at the review and yes, it doesn't make any sense why they awarded the XS Max the title of the world's best display when in fact the Note 9 clearly had more pros than the XS Max. The only area where the XS Max was winning was color shift, higher brightness under manual mode and the smallest brightness variation with weaving angles. In the rest of the categories, the Note 9 was clearly dominating and it checked all of the green boxes in DisplayMate's test, whereas the XS Max had a couple of yellow boxes. Yet, they awarded the XS Max the best display. You know, when I went to their website, the first thing I noticed was that Apple provided them a review unit. Just remember that whenever a company gives a review unit to a YouTuber or to a website, it's gonna be a biased one. They'll not say anything bad about the product in the fear of losing the sponsorship. I mean, why would a company send you a review unit if you're gonna talk bad about their products? Another shocking thing I discovered was that DisplayMate doesn't review anything that isn't Samsung or Apple phone. I went to their website expecting hundreds of display shootouts, you know what they call a review, one for every new phone released over the last few years. But these are the only phones that they have tested over the years. The last non-Samsung or Apple phone was the HTC One and Xperia Z and that was 5 years ago. There are a lot of other smartphones with great displays out there. The Xperia XZ3 for example has a great OLED display. The point is, how could DisplayMate say that the Samsung Galaxy phone or an iPhone has the best display in the world when they don't even test the other phones? That's where DisplayMate lost all of its credibility, at least in my eyes. And I think from here on, you shouldn't pay attention to this website either. That being said, let me know your thoughts in the comments. And as always, I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace out.